the single largest misconception about natural gas is that we can't do it clean. We can. We've proven it here in the Jonah field. Other operators have proven it. Uh, and, and we absolutely are a large part of the solution to climate goals. Roughly 40% of our electrical generation in this country is powered by natural gas. So when you power your iPhone, uh, when you power your electric vehicle, uh, uh, when you log on the internet, that is predominantly powered by natural gas. Just heat that you have coming off those right there. Not all natural gas is produced equally. Uh, certainly when you compare what uh, we produce here in the United States uh, to what's produced overseas, in particular Russia, uh, defining and differentiating how clean we can do it and how much we truly do respect the environment uh, versus other sources of gas, uh, both domestic and international, is a significant challenge. Regulatory policies absolutely can hinder our ability not only to stabilize production, but increase production. Federal land development is some of the cleanest oil and gas produced in the country, if not the world. You know, you know, we strongly encourage any administration to take a hard look at how they can encourage development of our federal lands, our public lands, when it comes to natural gas and oil development because of the environmental regulations that are put in place that make it the cleanest source of hydrocarbons in the world. Uh, we, we have to address climate change concerns. This is also our backyard. Uh, this is where we fish, this is where we hunt, this is where we raise our children, uh, this is where we camp and hike uh, and enjoy all of the wildlife and, and other natural resource wonders that Wyoming brings to us. We care very deeply about it. Uh, I'll go so far to say, you know, everybody here in Wyoming is passionate about conservation, passionate about preservation uh, of wildlife and our air quality and our water. And we work every day to make sure we're doing the best job we can.